You know, Dark Souls is a really hard video game, right? I heard it was easy. No? No, I think it's supposed to be really hard. I oh. think the board games themselves are very hard, and I have a feeling that Dark Souls Tomb of Giants is the hardest of them all. Uh, I'm pretty sure the painted world of Ariamas is more hard. Well, there's really only one way to find out. Are we gonna race? Yeah, we're gonna have a race. Oh. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm Mike Murphy. We are the Brothers Bourbon. You heard that right. We're going to be racing these two Dark Souls board games, which are made by Steamforge Game, who are sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Steamforge, Thank for sponsoring you, Steamforge this video. Games. So I have the Painted World of Ariamas. Mike has the Tomb of, Giants. Tomb of Giants. And these are two Dark Souls games that are standalone games, but you actually can combine them together. Absolutely. Individually, they're one to three player games, but you can combine these with uh, each other or other Dark Souls games to make it a four player experience. Indeed. We're going around fighting monsters, and ultimately, kind of getting your loot and your stats up to fight a big boss. Yeah, and it's very like Dark Souls. We don't know anything about Dark Souls, the board game, where you're gonna be going through these different encounters, coming across different enemies, and if you die, which you probably will, you have to go back to the beginning and then go through the whole thing again, and eventually you're trying to beat the big, big boss, who's gonna be very, very difficult. Absolutely, so we are gonna have a head-to-head -head race. We're gonna start both these games at the same time and see who can get through the big boss the quickest, and real quick, we're gonna go over an overview of how this board game works and show you the differences between these two because there are slight differences, yeah. and then we'll begin the race. In Dark Souls the board game, players will take on the role of different characters, each equipped with different starting gear and stats which they will use to navigate their way through different encounters. Each character can carry armor and can equip each hand with weapons and tools which will often help them roll dice to deal out damage to baddies. The players will be working their way through encounters of escalating difficulty and fighting a mini boss along the way to their ultimate goal defeating the big bad boss which stands in their way to victory. Each encounter will give players a map filled with enemies and players must complete the objective of the encounter before they can move on to the next encounter. If players die during an encounter, they are sent back to the bonfire where they must collect themselves before setting off on their journey again from the beginning. At least this time they know what they'll be up against. Players can also willingly go back to the bonfire after an encounter, which is where they can spend souls to increase their stats and allow them to equip powerful weapons which they may have found in the way of treasure from completing encounters. Once they've beefed up and re-equipped, they are ready to smash through those early encounters once again. On a turn, the active player can move and make an action. At times, an action will consist of interacting with a treasure chest or a lever, but often you'll use your action to attack. When choosing an attack, you'll check to see what dice it uses to roll in the weapon's range. Once you declare a target or targets, you can roll your dice and each sword rolled is a hit. Be sure to check what the monsters you're up against as different enemies have different resistances to physical and magical damage. After this is resolved, damage is dealt with enemies are removed if their health falls to zero. Once a character is gone, the enemies take their turn following their behaviors and attacks listed on their card. This is where your armor and shields come into play. Certain items come with defensive abilities and Dark Souls wouldn't be Dark Souls without the ability to dodge. If you roll your dodge dice and meet or exceed an enemy's dodge value, the attack misses completely. If an attack lands, that enemy will deal out damage listed on their card. If your equipment comes with defensive abilities, you can roll dice and each success negates a damage dealt. This is important as each turn you use stamina to carry out your actions and if ever your stamina and damage meet on your endurance bar and you need to add another, you die and your team loses the encounter and is back to the bonfire with you. If you succeed, however, you move on to the next encounter if you make it through all nine encounters and the bosses, you win. Now we are racing using two Dark Souls sets which can be combined with each other or the original Dark Souls board game for added variety. Mike will be running through the Tomb of Giants which sees him facing down several normal and giant skeletons, the Black Knight and ultimately the Grave Lord Nido. Nick will be running through the painted world of Ariamas dealing with fierce cold and he will battle out with crow demons, phalanx hollows, snow rats and more on the way to the heavy knight before taking down crossbreed Priscilla. Whoever gets through their game first wins. All right, man, we're at our tables. We have our initial stuff set Let's up. Start. We need an official time keep. Can you get the stopwatch ready? Ooh. We are starting in four, three, two, one. Oh, I, I was going to start right on the hour, and mm. we missed. Should we wait a whole hour? Yeah, probably. Okay, we're going to wait a whole hour, and then we're going to begin. Just kidding, go! So in my rush to set up my first encounter, I took my encounter things, all these cards, and I, I dumped them on the ground, and I got to reorganize them. That's called time loss. I'm in the first encounter. The dice gods have already shown 
their feistiness today, and it might be a long night for me. Okay, three encounters in, and I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten much luckier than Mike with my encounters. Basically, every single one of my encounters has been basically, if I can survive the first attack, I can basically just instantly kill them. Now though, we're about to move into the tier two encounters, which means they're probably gonna get a lot harder. But these first three, I feel like I got very, very lucky. Pray that I keep getting as lucky as Mike's, Mike's having harder scenarios than me, and it's great. I don't, I don't like it. Y'all know why I'm upset. I have used most of my tokens. <laughs> I don't think I can make it to the mini boss and then make that my new starting point from the bonfire. So I'm going to willingly turn back, spend some sowls, upgrade some stuff, hit it again. All right, so I have done my first bonfire and a bit of upgrades. Definitely got some stats up here kind of beefed up so I can get some cool loot equipped. I got a great uh, dragon crest shield, a little med heal so that my pyromancer can make maybe think about healing once in a while. I also got some fire link armor because I'm throwing fire bombs, baby! And over here on my cleric, I got this skull lantern. It gives me a bit of dodge to work with and stuff like that. And I'm also put in there a sacred chime because I wasn't doing much of the healing early on, but uh, I might need to now. So that's my new uh, upgraded kit. Let's rock and roll. What happened, Nick? I died. Oh man, that sucks. That sucked. That scenario was so much harder. And like, I've, we've played the game before, so I know that the, they get harder, but like that one was a two tile one. You have to kill all the enemies and it has snowstorm, bitter cold, and hidden. Those are the special rules. Snowstorm means every single turn, when you start your turn, if you're not on the spot, spot with the torch, you're not holding the torch, or with someone holding the torch, you get a frostbite token. And then bitter cold means if you have a frostbite token at the end of your turn, you get a damage. So every turn, and then the torch is on the second tile, which means there's no way to get it for at least a couple turns. So you're just getting hit like crazy. And then on top of that, it has hidden, and hidden means every single time you attack, you have to roll one less die. Oh my god, those three things together on a two-tile board with four enemies, and there's one of those crows which hit, which hit super hard. Oh, so now I have to go back to the bonfire. I'm not going to have any souls there, so I can't upgrade anything. I'm going to have to do this whole thing over again. Luckily, I do have a shortcut, so I don't have to do the very first scenario. But man, I'm going to have to do this whole one again, and I'm not going to have anything like better necessarily. Oh my gosh. That's a setback. Mike voluntarily went back. I'm forced to go back. This is rough. All right, so things went so bad with this guy the first time around. I'm just gonna roll a full aggression type thing. No defense, really. I'm gonna use my heroic action to get an extra die. Let's see, hopefully this will be worth it. Ooh. Oh, count them, count them. All right, that's four out of five damage. You're looking pretty mushy. All right, so if you know anything about Dark Souls, is that there are bosses, miniature, and bigiature. Now these these folks are just all sorts of different. They have different like zones around them, and you're trying to find their little weak spot and stab them and stuff. In the game, I know people are dodging around, trying to get around to the backside, and now we're at that point. So after going back through the bonfire, I feel like I was able to cruise mostly through <laughs> the four encounters now. Up to this point, if I can get through this, and at least I get to make this my new starting point for bonfire purposes, let's see what the heck happens. Oh my gosh, I barely made it out of that one. That was so close. And here's the thing, now we're going against the heavy knight, we're going to like the mini boss. And I need to beat this boss in the first try so I never have to do that other one again. Because if I do, I might scream. One thing I love in video games is when you're fighting a boss and you kind of like get them done in and also goes to a cutscene where they're like, oh, 
uh, brrr, and they get like all crazy here and start getting angry. I just hit the Black Knight and got them less than half health, and now my life is gonna get harder. They already hit super hard. Ah, I think it's gonna be, a, that's gonna be a problem. dead night right there but believe me i now understand the whole grinding out the boss thing that was epic and long and very 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 close look at that all right the heavy night is down both mike and i basically finished not an epic yeah, just both finished our first mini boss battle basically the exact same time and that was hard Sometimes there's Dark Souls, so you gotta get them, and then, but then also your dogs have to go to the bathroom. And then, now Nick's just getting further ahead. Our characters are getting strong. We gotta take this into the next half of the game. So we are on, we got little puppies down here. We are on, both on the last encounter before the, the end boss. Sad. So we've actually been pretty neck and neck. You've had a setback. Well, you, you <sighs> voluntarily went back to the bonfire. I died. Back. We've both been doing pretty good though. We've both been cruising pretty good. Yeah. Have some good weapons, been playing really well, gotten really close to dying a couple of times. I've oh, been living on the edge all, every single Every encounter. single time, yeah. <laughs> and so, we're gonna go ahead and get some food because we've been at it for about four hours now. We're pretty We're doing hungry. a gentleman's truce. Yes. We're gonna not play while the other's eating or anything. We'll take a quick little break. And when we come back, we'll settle. And at the same time, we'll start again. Nick, are you ready for the final push? No. We're all tied up, man. It's basically, if one of us goes down, that's a steep hill to climb back into. Yeah. I'm tired, it's 10 p.m., I'm tired. <sighs> Just got some caffeine, gonna rock it out. We're gonna kill some big bosses that did anything. So this right here is a phalanx. We've been finding phalanx hollows, which are just these individuals, but they can't actually come in a big group of three all smushed together like this. And then once we kill them, they just break into three different phalanx hollows. We have to kill them twice. It's very annoying. Mikey, what happened? No. What <laughs> happened? No. The giant archers just, I couldn't kill them in time. And they hit me very hard. And I died one spot before the big boss. Oh gosh, I have got to, I have got to Rush! I've got to rethink the weapons and things I have. I've, I, I, I got no time. Okay, so I beat the last encounter before I have to go fight Crossbreed Priscilla. So we'll see. Mike also just lost. So I feel Allegedly. like I feel like I have a little bit of time. So let's see how this one goes. No way, bro. I had an unstoppable combo in this end here. All of her cards, at least all the ones that I drew, her range was only either one or two, and both weapons I had had range three, so I basically could just keep backing away and hitting her, and she couldn't touch me. She's got god mode, dude. And by the end here, she was backing me into a corner, and she start was starting to hit me, so it was starting to get close, and I was like almost full up on stamina. So it was getting close by the end there, but I was basically able to keep backing up, pop shot, backing up, pop shot, and just like was able to do pretty good work. I had really good weapons. Um, I got some good stuff, and I was just uh, she was never able to get near me. Neat. Good game, man.
Okay, so that is it. I am the winner. Oh, I, I had it, man. I, I started switching it. weapons last second. I was going to get all cool, and then I, I lost it. You were the last encounter for the boss. I was oh. up. And I, I lucked into a, a combo that, like, crossed me Priscilla. Literally, man, she couldn't don't, hit me. Don't call it luck, man. Call it skill. Call it what it is. Skill. I'm an expert Dark Souls player. Oh, man. But nonetheless, that is a race. It took us, like, almost six hours to do the whole thing. Yes. It's, like, 11 o'clock at night. But nonetheless, that was super, super fun. We always love <laughs> doing these kind of board game challenge videos. So fun. And so, um, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. We're the brothers, but make sure to check out the Dark Souls board game. Check it, it out. Find it. Let us know of a challenge you want to see us try. Yeah. We're always down to do silly things and interact with board games in strange ways. <laughs> We're super grateful to Steamforge Games for letting us do something silly like this with their game. In fact, they came to us saying, like, please do something wacky like this. So yeah. thank you again for <laughs> believing in us. I I just, I, I fumbled at the one yard line, You man. sure did, yeah. I was trying to do celebrations, just and I just dropped safety. the football. <laughs> Come on. That's going to okay. be it for us. We'll see you all later. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this Dark Souls race. Mike and I have never played Dark Souls the video game, but this board game was actually pretty darn cool. Big shout out to Seamforge for sponsoring this video. And we also have channel sponsors in general, Restoration Games, Lucky Duck Games, and Board Game Geek, who we love very, very much. And of course, we have a month sponsor for the month of November. We are sponsored by Board Game Anonymous. Are you addicted to board games? Do you have neck problems, a crick in your neck? Call Board Games Anonymous, one 800 555 Five, five, uh, five, five. Board Games Anonymous. Check them out. Thanks for sponsoring. Yeah. <laughs>